Today, we're diving into the enchanting world of dark academia. Dark academia isn't just a style, it's a way of life, an aesthetic that celebrates classic literature, art, and the beauty of intellectual curiosity. We'll explore perfect locations, the art of posing, the magic of lighting, and nuances of editing. The choice of location plays a vital role in capturing the essence of dark academia. Our first stop, campuses and libraries, the sanctuaries of knowledge, with shelves filled with ancient books and a soft golden glow from the old chandeliers, libraries and college campuses offer a captivating backdrop to our dark academia portraits. But if you don't have access to these amazing buildings, like I don't have access, <laughs> just filling your living room with a few old books and some atmospheric lighting can do the trick as well. Next, we find inspiration in the great outdoors, where nature meets mystery. Imagine misty mornings, cobblestone paths, and ivy-covered walls. These gardens evoke a sense of enchantment and solitude, perfect for our self-portraits. Other areas that could invoke a sense of dark academia are old cemeteries, wooded paths, and walking trails. The best time to go is during winter or autumn, when the seasons are changing, things are cool, the lighting is much more moody, and it will lend itself very well to the aesthetic. In the world of dark academia photography, lighting is everything. It shapes our narrative, casting intriguing shadows and illuminating hidden corners. So let's explore some lighting ideas that will bring some story to our self-portraits. Firstly, natural light is our best friend. Seek out the soft, diffused light that seeps in through window curtains. This specific tip is for using books to bounce light back onto your face. And this works best if you have a beautiful window right behind you. You're probably kind of shadowy in the camera. So opening up a book, and just kind of shining the light back at you. So all the brightness hits the pages and comes back to your face and you should notice that in the photos. So with the light, without. With the light, without. I hope you can see that. Overcast days offer beautiful illumination without any harsh shadows. Candles with their flickering flames add a touch of mystery and romance. Place them strategically to cast intriguing shadows on walls and objects. Consider using practical lights like desk lamps. These fixtures not only add vintage charm, but also give you creative control. Position them strategically to highlight certain elements while allowing the rest of the scene to fade into shadow. Remember, dark academia is not just about capturing images, it's about weaving stories. Play with lighting to create a narrative. The glow of a reading lamp or the haunting shadows in a forgotten corner, each lighting choice adds layers to our visual tale. As with any aesthetic, fashion is a language and the outfit speaks volume. Crafting the perfect dark academia look involves embracing vintage charm, muted tones, and a touch of scholarly elegance. Let's dive into some outfit choices. Start with timeless foundation. Think tailored blazers, tweed vests, and crisp high collared shirts. Embrace a color palette inspired by the natural world. Deep browns, forest greens, warm mustard, muted grays. These hues evoke a sense of nostalgia and sophistication. Skirts and trousers take center stage, tailored to perfection. Opt for pleated skirts, high-waisted pants, or even suspenders for an added vintage touch. Fabrics like corduroy, wool, and linen add texture and depth to your ensemble, capturing the essence of scholarly elegance. Accessories are the subtle storytellers of dark academia. Picture yourself with leather satchels, round glasses, 
vintage watches, each piece echoing a bygone era of intellectuals and poets, scarves, berets, and gloves, at the final layer of sophistication, completing the look with finesse. Footwear should be as timeless as the words of classic literature. Think Oxford shoes, loafers, or boots in rich, earthy tones. The worn-in, slightly rugged look adds character, as if your shoes have walked through the pages of history. Key to the perfect dark academia outfit is to blend vintage aesthetics with your own personal flair. Mix and match, layer, and experiment until you've found a combination that feels like poetry to your soul. Now that we've curated the perfect dark academia outfit, it's time to add the finishing touches. The props that will breathe life into your self-portraits, turning them into visual narratives rich with history. Let's explore the world of props and how they'll elevate our portraits to captivating tales of intellect and imagination. Books are portals to different worlds, and in dark academia, they are cherished companions. Vintage leather-bound books, weather pages, and the scent of ancient wisdom, these elements add depth to our portrait. Quill pens and inkwells evoke the spirit of the past, reminding us of the scholars and poets who penned their thoughts with ink and feather. Candles with their flickering flames cast enchanting shadows and a touch of mystery to our portraits. The play of light and shadow lends depth to our expressions, creating an atmosphere of introspection and charm. Let the candlelight dance on your face, capturing moments of quiet contemplation. Antique typewriters with their rhythmic clicks and clacks transport us to a time when every word was carefully chosen. There's so much more. Teacups, dried flowers, magnifying glasses, globes, violins, pianos, mirrors, and all antique furniture. As you explore these props, remember that each one carries its own story. These stories intertwine with your own, infusing your self-portraits with a sense of nostalgia, wisdom, and artistic depth. Embrace the power of these props and let them guide you. In the realm of dark academia, posing is an art, a silent conversation between the subject and the lens, capturing the essence of intellectual curiosity and quiet contemplation. Each pose tells a story, a tale woven with shadow and light. Today, let's explore the art of posing for dark academia self-portraits delving into gestures that echo the grace of the past and the mystery of the present. Begin with seated poses. Find an antique chair, perhaps one with intricate carvings or faded velvet. Sit with poise. Hold yourself in relaxed positions. Imagine yourself lost in the pages of a timeless novel. Bend your elbows, relax your wrists, and keep your knees bent and your toes pointed. These elegant, soft poses and relaxed statures are the perfect mix for dark academia posing. You're gonna to wanna to bring that relaxed state to your standing poses as well. If you have a solid wall or a bookshelf or something heavy nearby that you can lean against, those are optimal places to casually lean and tilt your head back, shift your weight to one leg only, and you'll have this classic casual feel to your posing. If you're struggling, go back to the props. Often these will give your hands something to do and guide the rest of your body into place. They really can help anybody who has a hard time with posing. Grab a book or a candle and just see where you naturally want to stand with it. Consider the power of a silhouette, a shadow against a dimly lit room. Embrace profile shots, your figure outlined by candlelight or soft lamplight. These silhouettes add an air of mystery, inviting viewers to imagine the stories hidden within our shadows. The unseen, the untold, let your silhouette speak volume. Remember, this aesthetic embraces imperfection. Let your hair fall naturally, your clothes slightly disheveled, as if you just emerged from a world of books and dreams. Imagine the authenticity of the moment and let your poses reflect the raw, unfiltered beauty of creativity and introspection. In the enchanting world of dark academia, the art of editing is akin to brushing strokes on a canvas. 
It's where our photographs transform into timeless masterpieces, evoking the essence of forgotten eras and intellectual musings. Let's explore the editing style that brings dark academia photos to life, infusing them with the allure of vintage charm and melancholic elegance. Begin by embracing a muted palette. Soften the hues, allowing the tones to echo the passage of time. Reduce the saturation slightly, emphasizing the subtle earthy tones, rich browns, dark greens, and faded yellows. This creates a sense of antiquity, as if our photos have weathered the years like vintage paintings. Texture is our ally at Dark Academia Edits. Emphasize textures to add depth and character to your photos. Think of old parchment, worn out leather, or the rough grain of a vintage paper. Add subtle grain and noise, enhancing the tactile quality of our images. Let your viewers feel the texture through the screens. Play with your shadows and highlights. Darken the shadows to create a sense of mystery, allowing certain elements to fade into obscurity. Highlight key areas, a book, a face, a quill, drawing the viewer's attention to the focal points. This interplay of light and shadow adds a dramatic dimension to our photos, echoing the technique of classic art. Feel free to experiment with vintage filters. Vintage filters evoke the aesthetic of aged photographs, adding warmth and nostalgia. Film grain overlays, reminiscent of old film cameras, bring an organic, filmy quality to our digital images. Let these overlays infuse our photos with the spirit of analog photography. Editing in dark academia style is not just about perfecting the image, it's about enhancing the soul. As our journey through the world of dark academia comes to a close, I want to express my deepest gratitude. Thank you for joining me on this creative odyssey, exploring the depths of literature and art through self-portrait photography. Your support and presence means the world to me. Please share your stories, your favorite poses, or even editing tips in the comments below. Let's continue the conversation weaving this tapestry of dark academia self-portraits. Don't forget to connect with me on Instagram at wild underscore empress. I'd love to see your dark academia creations and Instagram is the perfect way for us to stay connected. Take care and I'll see you soon.